What is up everybody? We are at Patsakofelban. We're gonna be going up there for the last day of the Innsbruck track. Today we're gonna to do uh, a round around the Patsakofel peak, taking the lift to go up and then on our way back we will enjoy some nice Tyrolean delicacies and cold beverages. We're on our way to the very top. We're gonna to do a circle around the, the mountain and then we're gonna get on the top of the mountain and then go back down. Um, the really nice thing about the Patsakofel station is that it has been newly rebuilt and renovated and everything looks super amazing. And this is why we were probably spending twice the amount of money because we're gonna be hanging out in both of the restaurants, both the one on the top and then the one on the bottom because it's like really awesome, so why not? Well, I think it's like super uh, rewarding the fact that we're doing this, uh, let's say, easy hike or closing the Innsbruck trek with the uh, hike of the Patsakofel, basically where everything started in Innsbruck again. Uh, this time uh, from that, the other side of the mountain where we're gonna have like really amazing panoramic views of Innsbruck. We're gonna be shooting a lot of nice shots up there, a lot of photographs as well. So if you're into it, get your cameras ready because it's gonna be really nice, especially with the weather like this, like you can see the, the seat in the background is like really, really nice, so. Currently we are here and we're gonna do the round and get back here. This gonna be okay. So we just started our ascent to the very top and these are gonna be the views from now on. If the weather clears out as well, we will be able to see the Zugspitze, one of the biggest mountains in the Tyrol area. I will try to get my telephoto lens out, maybe shoot some photos or even videos of that. One of the very interesting facts about the forest in Patsakofel, or let's say around the peak of Patsakofel, is that it's a primeval forest. It's been here for thousands and millions and billions of years so everything you see around here it's been around here for a while it's probably gonna be around here after this that mountain over there is the Mount Sedlis it's one of the highest peaks in Tyrol it's close to 3,000 meters a really cool pro hiking tip it's to go up there for the sunrise it actually takes quite a while to get up there because you start at the very bottom more or less so there's like an ascension of about 1,000, 1,000, about 100 meters and it might take a while. So now we decided to go a little bit off-road. There's actually two options going up to the top. One of them is from the dirt road, where Marcus is at the moment, and the other one is from a cozy little path, basically. So we're switching it up a little bit because we were getting too comfortable, and you know me, definitely like the challenge. Peace. So it seems we reached our first goal, which is the telecommunications tower in Patrickofel. And 
we're like one third one third of the distance there I think we will probably shoot for it and go get the drinks back in the back station yeah because it's getting uh it's a bit windy up here we're sweating so that, that's definitely a recipe to get sick Right, so it's time to carry on. We leave the Hutte behind us. I think we got pretty chill, more chill than usual there. We got another four kilometers to go. More of these epic views. Let's just carry on to Boschneb Hutte, the next checkpoint. One thing is for sure, the views up here are epic just to say the least and right now we're moving in a more uh, conventional hiking path that as you can see it continues all the way there and there that's exactly where we're going over there this is by far the nicest part of the hike because we keep hiking along the mountain range you have the views from both sides of the mountain that side and that side very very rewarding the last hike of the Innsbruck track. Something that is close to the tour, but not part of the tour. There's a little cross up there, as you can see. And we're gonna go up there and check out the view because the views, man, they're amazing. They're really amazing. I look on this side, there's Innsbruck. I look on that side, there's another valley. Oh, we just reached our uh, second checkpoint, the Böschenbehutte, down here, but we're not gonna be stopping. We're shooting straight back to the left and we're probably gonna have like a cool beverage over there. It has been uh, an absolute epic experience to do the Innsbruck trek. Six days, a lot of kilometers, a lot of sun, a lot of sweating, a lot of drinking, a lot of mountains. It's like, it's been really good. Even for me living here for all these years, uh, it's still super cool to discover new places and go to, to new hikes. Marcos really enjoyed it. So I, I, hope, enjoyed it, yeah. I hope you guys enjoy it too. Uh, thanks for staying with us for all these videos and See you in the mountains. Peace.